Aquarius and welcome to oh my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your eclipse reading about what how are the eclipses going to be affecting you and the eclipses we have we're in the eclipse tunnel the eclipse portals at the moment it's going to be around for about a month this energy starts with the the full moon in Libra in on the 25th and it also has the new moon in Aries on the 8th and which is a total solar eclipse and so yeah, eclipses bring change, they're wild cards, they sh bring shifts and resets and these can be really fated, they can be life-changing energies, they can be subtle as well but um, definitely there's a bit of turbulence around with it so we're going to see what energy you're getting and what messages you're getting around this and it can happen on the eclipses, it can happen at any time. You know, it could happen two weeks later, two weeks, two weeks before in the middle. So it's unpredictable, like I said. So we have your first card is the seven of shells, choice and ambitions. This little crayfish, it's just going, which shell am I going to choose? So this is the seven of cups. And it may not be that it, it might be that it's not super clear at this moment. It may be that it's like, do you have the power of choice or not? With or Do you feel like you've got a lot of choices in front of you or do you want to create more choices? This is often a card of, you know, the vision is still forming as to where you want to be going with something and it's just still have to wait to see what pans out and what plays out with it. And this can be a card of major re-evaluations about how you're feeling about a situation, a person or something in your life because we are going into a Mercury retrograde as well. Mercury will be in Aries and so that's going to be really tied in with this eclipse energy. It's going to give us a chance to reevaluate, to think things through, to plan, to organize and plan, maybe not necessarily put things into motion just yet. So we've got the Seven of Shells, Choice and Ambitions. Let's pull an affirmation card around that, around feeling like you're in this place that you want to bring something new in but still not sure what the right choice is. It says, I'm open and receptive to new avenues of income. Okay, I now receive my good from expected and unexpected sources. This is very eclipse-like energy. I'm an unlimited being accepting from an unlimited source. I'm blessed beyond my fondest dreams. So, yeah, we have ambitions and income coming in. So this could be very much tied to financial situation or your work and perhaps there's something new that you're looking at you're looking at the options or what's on offer here and it's like just trying to kind of work out what the best thing is so let's look at your eclipse story Aquarius and see what is coming in so I do get a bit of a pondering reflective spend a bit of time thinking not rushing into something or if you are waiting for somebody else to make a choice, perhaps it feels like there's delays around that in some way or it's not entirely clear. What do we have here? The Queen of Cups. Okay, interesting. The Queen of Cups. This is my little Mona Lisa queen. And these are my mythic tarot decks. So it's the Greek mythology. And here's Helen of Troy, the most beautiful woman in the world. And her dress flows back into the water she's really the cancer queen the the, the queen of um, the sign cancer so it's all about just letting your emotions flow trusting your intuition being aware of what is being projected upon you and what is right feeling right for you and what isn't feeling right for you knowing yourself your own inner being your own energy and who you are, not having to necessarily live up to any ideals or expectations around beauty or about what somebody, who somebody thinks you are. It's like I know myself and I have to learn to kind of go with that flow. And perhaps there's a bit of a mismatch between how you see yourself and how somebody else is seeing you because it feels like there could be a cloudedness. So just be aware of how relationships and what is being mirrored back to you here uh, within relationships. So what else does Aquarius need to know in terms of the eclipse story? What is Aquarius's story happening in these eclipse energies? Let's see what is coming through for Aquarius. So it might be a real uh, test of your intuition, actually. Let's see what we've got. The magician and the star. Fantastic. So the magician is where you are. This is the higher octave of Mercury. So it's the higher mind. It's very high frequency, 
uh, information coming in from the higher levels to your mind and then it comes in through your crown and downloads through and it's like understanding that there's elements that you're working with here and you have all the elements within you to be to be working out the how how am I going to make this choice how am I going to get the thing that I'm ambitious about and how am I going to get that moving forward how am I going to get somebody to see me for how I want them to see me in a way and then the star card is where this is the card of Aquarius the higher octave of Aquarius so it's like this is my future I'm manifesting something for my future here and I need to release the, there's things that need to be released related to my identity in a way that, and how it's mirrored back to me through relationships. And there's a whole heap of, this is opening up Pandora's box. So it's something that kind of got shut off or closed down or got avoided for whatever reason. And it's been opened back up again. And it can feel a little bit like opening up a wound or an issue or something that you were like, I thought well, we'd, I'd shut that off for whatever reason, but then all these dragonflies come out, it's all the meh, meh, yucky energy comes out. But the other thing that comes out is this beautiful star of hope and it's, it's the star of hope's holding a rainbow. So it's kind of an intangible energy of feeling more hopeful for the future while releasing some of the kind of, I, I see it as this brown sludgy energy that feels like it's part of the wound. It's like opening up an abscess and, and letting all that gunky, woundy stuff go. And then it's like, okay, I'm feeling a little bit more clear. I'm feeling a little bit more in control. I'm feeling like I can actually positively manifest my future, the future that I'm looking for here. So it's a little bit of a process of cleaning and cleansing and clearing out. But, yeah, the Seven of Swords, this is where it's like, that thing that you put off or avoided or looking at or for whatever reason just haven't wanted to do it it's just not a nice thing or pleasant job to have to think about or do and this is the longer you put something off the longer the shadows of the thoughts come and it's like hmm. so this is very much like I need to perhaps cut a tie with an energy or a person here um, that feels like okay this is something that I've maybe put off for a very long time, but now it's opened back up again. I'm seeing kind of pretty clearly what the dynamic is and what's going on with this. Now, this doesn't mean you're cutting this person out of your life altogether. It just might mean that you're cutting off the energetic tie with a certain um, frequency between the two of you, a certain pattern between the two of you. Like maybe there's always something that they always say that hurts you in a way or something they did a long time ago. I mean, it can be cut, completely cutting the tie. It can be that as well. But it really feels like it's like there's a necessary job to um, address something here, to bring up a topic, to say something, to do something. And it's like I've just been putting it off because I didn't really want to have to do it. So, yeah, I mean, this could even be the like just going through paperwork you know it could be something as mundane as I've just got to go and do all those tax things that I've been putting off but there's just something here that involves freeing doing a job that you're not really that keen on freeing and releasing some old energy that you no longer need anymore stepping into your power so that you ha do have the choice here of the ambitions that you're looking for just stepping into a new future so let's see, let's get the final card or message for this eclipse story for you, Aquarius, and see. And, you know, Seven of Swords can be major reassessment. It could be that you're rethinking something. We are in, uh, going to go through a Mercury retrograde with Mercury in Aries. So that's very connected to these eclipse-like energies as well. And the Sevens always represent some kind of reassessment uh, very similar energies to Gemini, I have to say, as well, coming in. So if you have any Gemini or you're cross-watching for Gemini, you might want to watch that reading as well. So we're here we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Swords, and this is the, the choices that are coming in. Here we see there's like a whole heap of choices there, and this little crayfish doesn't know which one. Here, this is the Queen offering Daedalus a choice, come work for me. So it could be a job offer of some sort, but it's like, Mm, is it worth it because I've got some is it going to bring in the stability I'm looking for or is it exactly what I'm looking for it does promise something new and interesting and growth perhaps but is it exactly what is it what I'm needing at this moment so it doesn't have to necessarily be around 
a job, but she is quite literally offering him a job here. Here we have, um, so it could be anything in the material realm, something's coming towards you, some kind of tangible offer, which you kind of have to think about. And again, it's a seven. So it's like, spend a bit of time thinking you don't have to rush into anything you've got three sevens here the seven of cups the seven of swords and the seven of pentacles and it comes with the five of swords which again is a choice here is apollo the god of healing and light offering arrestus a choice saying you've got five swords here which one do you want to pick and choose and it's pretty much saying you know the five the, the swords represent the way that you have previously made the choice or thought about or perceived a person or a situation in your life and Apollo the God of healing light is saying there's five different ways you could approach this or plan this or think about it and so you have a choice in the way that you're perceiving and choosing and thinking and so and that in itself is quite healing so it's actually really lovely but you are going to be presented with uh, you know, some choices here, a particular choice and how you're going to think about this and how you're going to approach. Um, potentially there's a lot of work and, and money energy around this. So we also have the hanged man, which is basically about trying to get out of Groundhog Day, get out of the same thing happening over and over again, the same pattern over and over again, and to be able to cut those ties. And this is saying there's a shift in, ter in terms of, your investment of time, effort, energy, and the thoughts that you uh, have around this. There, there are choices here, but it's sort of like you're doing it, going about it in a different way, and it can enact some kind of change here which can help you get out of this groundhog day energy of feeling like you're pun being punished or that you're suffering in some way or it's just like the same old thing. Why is it always the same result? Why is it the same old thing? The seven of shells is like I want to choose something new to get a different result. I'm feeling there are new ambitions that are coming through here and it's just about, yeah, finding clarity in the murky waters. So that's what we see here with this five of swords is that the clarity is there. It just might not be in the usual way that you're used to finding it. So it is all about the power of choice for you, Aquarius. It does feel like there's an opportunity to advance somehow in terms of your income, your financial situation or your work, but it feels like there's just an interesting process of assessment about working out what's the best thing and what's the best way forward. And so there are going to be choices here and opportunities to get out of this Groundhog Day energy. So that's your reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments. Let me know where you're from, right? Let me know. I want to, uh, I'd love to hear what is going on and where you're from. So, and also check out my other offerings, Learn Tarot with me personal readings, lots of really good stuff. It's in the link below. So check that out and take care, Aquarius.